الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علی نبی نہ محمد و علیہ وصحب ہی وسلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ العلم النافع beneficial Islamic knowledge is that which helps you to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the sign of guidance. And guidance can only become, can only come from al-manafiyah, from beneficial knowledge. And in a beautiful hadith of Abu Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala'an, in which he said, he reported the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he who calls others to follow the right guidance will have a reward equal to the reward of those who follow him without their reward being diminished in any respect on that account, Ruahu Muslim. This hadith in Sahih Muslim, which shows us to be and encourages us to be a source of guidance for others, a source of light, of calling people to khair. And that khair, of course, can only come from Kitab wa Sunnah can only come from the Dawah to Ahlul Sunnah. It can only come from the light of Islam, which means the light of Kitab and the light of the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. And that's Al Nafia. That's beneficial knowledge. Beneficial knowledge is not knowledge which causes discord and confusion and hatred between the believers, but rather Al Nafia is that which brings you closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, encourages you to practice better encourages you to be a better believer and the one who gives guidance to others it doesn't take anything away from them so we should all strive our best to be du'at ila khair du'at people who call to the quran and the sunnah to the best of our ability the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said balagh anni walo ayah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said mention something from me even if it's just, uh, you know, a, 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 a verse, meaning a verse of the Qur'an. Or that it could be a hadith of the Prophet wasallam, meaning spread the knowledge that you have. Spread it to the extent of your ability. And don't go beyond that. So this shows us that there's ajr azim. The Prophet wasallam said, لَيَنْ يَحْدِيَ اللَّهُ بِكَ رَجَلًا وَاحِدًا خَيْرًا لَكَ مَنْ حَمْرًا That if Allah guides just one person by your hand, it's better for you than the red camels the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man yurid fi din whenever allah wants good for a person he gives him fiqh understanding of the religion so all of those ahadith show us the fadl and the fada'il of ilm of beneficial knowledge and of being a source of guidance and understanding and may allah bless us with ikhlas with the bat and bless us to call to the book and the sunnah and as a last faida, I recall from Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah yarhamuhu, in which he said, talking about the fadl and the asl of the dawa of Ahlu Sunnah. The dawa of Ahlu Sunnah. He said, Dawa to Ahlu Sunnah. Dawa to min kitabi lahi ila kitabi lahi. وَمِنْ سُنَّةِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَىٰ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِلَىٰ سُنَّةِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَىٰ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ So the da'wah of Ahl al-Sunnah is the da'wah from the book of Allah, meaning the Qur'an, to the Qur'an, and from the sunnah to the sunnah, meaning it's not to our personalities, to our nationalism, to our group, to our clique, to anything other than the haqq. And the haqq or the truth is based on the book and the sunnah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to be a part of exalting the book and the sunnah. And not of those who try to exalt ourselves. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyya na Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.